Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap Team. I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new MAC Stack Mascara. This is brand new from MAC and it has gone viral on TikTok. So I wanted to get my hands on it. I wanted to try it for myself. It's also the only thing that's launched re recently that's available in the UK. So I thought I would give it a go and try it out for you. I promised myself never to do a mascara video on this channel again because they never do very well. But you never know. So I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family and without further ado guys here is the video so this mascara you are supposed to be able to stack and stack and stack without it clumping you're supposed to layer it endlessly without it clumping so we will see if that works it's kind of the first thing that mac have done in a very long time that lots of people are actually intrigued by and getting on the bandwagon for and as the things that i wanted to review for you guys aren't available in the uk yet i thought i would try this so this is the mac stack mascara it comes in two forms one has a mega brush and one has a micro brush they say that the micro brush is good for short lashes or lower lashes and they say that the macro brush the macro brush is good for long lashes or top lashes i was quite uncertain because i do have very short lashes i didn't really know which one to go for but luckily they only had one in stock which was the macro it is 26 pounds which i do think having looked around is quite pricey for mac especially because they did have two different types so i felt like it would be a really good opportunity to get people to be able to buy both it's more expensive than all of their other mascaras. Other mascaras are £20, £24, £24, £20, £20. But they did release some mini versions as well. The mini Mac stacks are £12.50, so about half the price. It kind of is in the same price range as a Lancome mascara. And not to say that MAC isn't as good as Lancome, I just expect to pay a little bit less for MAC. And considering the Gucci one is £30, I don't feel like this one is that far off it. And with Gucci, I expect to pay a bit more as well. So not to say MAC's bad, I just wasn't expecting a £26 mascara for MAC, especially a mascara they released as like two different brushes, get two mascaras, that's gonna be like £52. So what they say is the Mega Brush, which is the one I've got, is ideal for longer, longer or upper lashes it says it is a continuously buildable clump resistant mascara that stacks on infinite layers of volume and length pick your perfect brush for personalized application so the idea is that if you've got short lashes or you just want to do your bottom lashes you get the micro brush if you've got long lashes and you want to do or you want to do your upper lashes and you get the macro brush and the lady to try and ease the pain of me not being able to get the micro brush said the macro brush is better because it's kind of an all-in-one on the packaging as with mac they do like to give you a lot of in I actually do like the packaging of this i feel like it's really cool it's very spacey it's very fun it's got like a little ball in the middle and i really like that about it i think it's a really cool mascara packaging and not something i've seen before which i do appreciate i don't know if you guys have seen it but it is trending on tiktok at the moment mainly because people are just trying to stack it as many times as they can and put as many layers on as they can i'm quite surprised that the micro brush was sold out i would have thought it would have been the other way around the micro brush also says it's a continuous buildable clump resistant mascara that stacks on infinite layers of volume and length okay guys so i thought i'd set stand here because i think it's better lighting this is the mascara wand here let's do this so i'm going to do one layer That's two coats and it's feeling pretty heavy. <laughs> it's really very heavy.
I feel like another one of these is gonna be a disaster, but let's go for it. It does have a slight, slight scent to it, but it's not a bad scent. Okay, they're very E.D. Cedric right now. Okay, on this side, I'm going to do one layer, see how it goes. And I guess as this dries out a little bit, I'm sure it will feel a lot less weird. When I first tried the Gucci one, I wasn't that bowled over by it, but it's literally one of my favourite mascaras. That's not too bad. I feel like one coat of this is fine. That is it on this side with three layers on, and this is it with one. I think we're going to pump this with one more on this side. I am back for day two. I'm gonna try it on again. I don't think I love it as much on the lower lash. Although it kind of looks cute. Okay, so I'm going to do this side now. So guys, that is it. That is my finished look. That is the MAC Max Stack Mascara in the Maxi Brush. Now I've tried the Maxi Brush, I'm very intrigued by the Micro Brush. I do feel like that might be better for me considering I do have short lashes. But I'm glad I got to try this first because for me, this is the one I would have wanted to try. I do think it's actually a really good mascara and it does make my eyes look very framed, my lashes look very long. I don't know if it's clump free. They don't look clumpy, but they look very fully stacked if that makes sense to the point where they almost look clumpy so I don't know I feel like it's kind of a vibe if you're going for like a Edie Cedric a 60s um like very intense bold big stacked lash then I think this actually could be a really good mascara for you I think it's nice with mascaras it's really hard to tell on the first impressions if they're good Two of my favourite mascaras, the Dark Star Mascara from Pat McGrath and the Gucci Mascara, the Lip Obscure from Gucci. Two of my favourite mascaras, when I first tried them I felt like they were okay. I felt the same as I do now, so maybe that's a good sign, there is hope. Not a bad mascara, I love the packaging, I feel like the packaging is super cool. It's really good to see MAC doing some fun stuff. So I'm excited to see what they do next, maybe this is the beginning of a MAC revival. Who knows, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys, will you be buying it, will you be trying it? Let me know. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.